Hello everyone, it's Brendan. What I've got for you today is a short video describing how you can form an ether from an alkene in an alcohol. What we'll see in this video is we're starting with an alkene, so something with just a CC double bond. We are reacting it with pretty much any alcohol uh, in the presence of an acid catalyst. Now, this is going to be very similar to the hydration reaction where you're just adding water across an uh, alkene to form an alcohol. Uh, so if you know that one, this one's going to be pretty easy to follow along with. All right, so let's take a look. So the first thing that we're going to have happen is the pi bond from the alkene is going to come out here and it's going to grab the hydrogen. What happens next is uh, we basically think of this pi bond as hinging open in either direction. And when it hinges open, that hydrogen is going to attach to either of the two carbons leaving a vacancy and therefore a positive charge on the other of the two atoms. So uh, what we know in organic chemistry is reactions tend to proceed through the more stable intermediate. Uh, because carbocations are more stable, the more highly substituted they are, um, our carbocation in this case is going to want to be on the tertiary carbon instead of the secondary carbon. So our hydrogen that adds is going to add right here, meaning a positive charge is going to end up on this position because the electrons that were in the pi bond uh, vacated that area. All right, so what's going to happen next is uh, the alcohol uh, that's present pretty much everywhere in the solution these electrons on the oxygen are very nucleophilic. So they're gonna come in and they're going to attack the positive charge right here. In attacking the positive charge, they are forming a bond between the oxygen and that carbon atom. So then what we end up with is this is the bond that is formed from the lone pair on the top of the oxygen here. Uh, so it's still going to be connected to the oxygen. That oxygen is bonded to a hydrogen, and that hydrogen is bonded to a methyl group. Now I'm not going to draw the methyl group in this case. Uh, in fact, I didn't have to draw it at the beginning, um, but just to keep it looking like a line bond diagram, uh, that's what I'm going to draw. And we now just have one lone pair on the oxygen because this lone pair uh, is now occupying that bond. Uh, because of that, we have a positive charge here. Now, again, because we're in a solution full of methanol, another molecule of methanol, the lone pair is going to be able to grab the hydrogen. This bond needs to be broken and kicked back over to the oxygen so the oxygen can have two lone pairs in two bonds, which oxygen typically likes to do. And when this reaction's done, we are going to have our final product. Which is an ether. And of course, we're still going to have the H+, that's going to be bound to uh, the CH3. So I'm going to write it like this. Put a positive charge there. Uh, that just indicates that the hydrogen was reformed. It is, in fact, a catalyst. Uh, this reaction is sometimes called acid-catalyzed uh, addition of an alcohol to an alkene. Um, but yeah, that's it. That's the mechanism for that. I hope you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching.